Okay, uh, having some serious technical challenges this morning, but I'm Tiffany and I'm here to do your reading for Free Tarot Friday on the Wise Guys channel. Um, I'm going to start at Aries and go all the way through Pisces. And so welcome if you're new, if this is your first time watching, I'm just doing a Zodiac reading. And if you would like to work with me or any of the Wise Guys readers, um, you can get our services at wiseguyscollective.com and go to the services tab. But for now, we're just checking in and seeing kind of what the vibe is for the weekend. Uh, I started the Aries reading a second ago and had some glitches pop up. Um, so what fell out was the star. So I already got a head start on our Aries reading. Um, you know, the star is, a, it helps us remember to shine our own light. You know, it helps us to remember that we have useful things to give to the world um, and to not hold ourselves back. Okay, so Aries, this is a first kind of uh, vibe I'm getting for you. And so let's clear the deck for Aries uh, and see what our Aries friends need to hear. All right, cool. So, you know, there really is nothing holding you back except for maybe a fear around finances. So we've got the star for you, Aries, you know, shining your own light, being helpful and useful to other people, um, not holding yourself back in any way, uh, being able to transform any situation that you've got in front of you, um, you know, and just kind of addressing some financial fears or some larger uh, expenses that maybe, you know, you hadn't planned on and really transform that. So what are, what are your special and unique talents that you can use to kind of uh, rework this money situation into something that is beneficial for all involved, everybody in your household. Um, awesome. Hi, Shannon. Let's see. And Yari and Bobby and Elodie and Randy. Um, I was a little late because I was having some tech problems and I wanted to let you guys know uh, I'm planning on doing these readings on our private group page, our inner circle page. So if you want to start to join that page, um, we're just, we're having a lot of kind of spam um, when I do these, unfortunately. So I felt like doing it on our private page would be a way to uh, reduce that. So uh, you're free to join the inner circle. If you guys uh, want to request permission, I accept everybody, you know, that has uh, been a supporter of Wise Guys and um, we'll, we'll continue over there. But for today, let's shift into Taurus. Hi, Randy and Yasmin and April. Hi. Okay. Um, April and Elodie, um, guys, I just knit together the podcast that we recorded yesterday. So I'm looking forward to kind of publishing it maybe later tonight, tomorrow morning. And for those of you uh, who haven't met April and Elodie yet that are on here live with me, um, they are some of our new readers at Wise Guys. So if you're looking for some different services, uh, see what we got um, on the services tab. All right, clearing for Taurus. <clears throat> Interesting. Um, so Taurus also gets a star card, but what comes first is this Eight of Swords reversed. And so to me, this means like you are breaking free from uh, the bondage of self. Okay, so any self-righteous patterns, any um, like mentalities that said, oh, you had to do it on your own. Uh, it looks like you're just really having a breakthrough around your personal security. And that looks awesome because it's your time to shine. Okay, so very similar to the Aries reading. Let's see what is in store um, for our Geminis. Clearing for Geminis. Good. Okay. So in some ways, Gemini, um, the work kind of nightmare is over. Like you've had a, uh, you've given a lot of time to work or a lot of thought or a lot of attention to something work related. And you are like taking on a new project. I would just be careful because you've got two tens here, the ten of swords and then ending with the ten of wands. And to me, that's like when we, when everything feels heavy, uh, when you've overcommitted or you have a lot of commitments and just go slowly into the holidays, you know, try a new behavior. You don't have to um, do it all just because you can, just because you're so smart and you have all the resources and tools doesn't mean you have to show up or you have to say yes to all of uh, the opportunities right now in your life. Um, 
Okay, cool. Yari is saying it's good on point for Taurus. Thank you. And hi, Susie. Blessings to you, too. Um, let's clear for Cancer and see what our Cancer friends need to hear for the weekend. Something that touches the heart, mind, soul of the Cancers that will be watching this recording. Okay. Do you see my cute candle? It smells so good. It's a uh, mistletoe and mint. Um, all right, so Cancer, something is happening quickly. Uh, something that has been in incubation that you thought was going to take forever, forever, is actually right around the corner. Uh, so something that was long-lasting is uh, maybe over, or something that you thought was going to take forever happens faster than you realized or wanted to. Or you know what I mean? It's like, whoa, we're getting in gear a little bit quicker and so sometimes that can feel unnerving and settling right it feels like whoa mass chaos all of a sudden I thought I had everything going and my boat's been rocked a little bit um, and there can be a sense of defeat with this card see the guy in the middle he's kind of bummed that it's crazy energy time so you know uh, the next card here is the king of cups um, this is somebody who's able to see things uh, from an emotionally responsible point of view and doesn't get into the chaos here but becomes the observer so that they can be um, kind of a witness for the chaos instead of a uh, creator of it, <laughs> okay? Um, Randy, um, my, the, the inner circle, the Wise Skies inner circle is our private group and it's the only group associated here with Wise Skies and I will also post it in the comments. Um, so that was Cancer, let's clear for Leo. Let's see what's going on with Leo. What do our Leo friends need to hear? Wow, uh, Leo's in love. Um, okay, so maybe there's been some emotional upsets at some point in terms of your relationship, right? But here we've got the Ten of Cups. You know, this is my card that signifies a positive, healthy relationship moving forward. Um, to me, what it looks like is you've gone through this kind of emotionally... Uh, turbulent time with your relationships and you've kind of thrown the dice out there with it you've taken a chance and you're like I don't care I'm going for it you know with the hopes of it being uh, the happy family the everlasting love the emotionally fulfilling partnership and you in union um, so just knowing that if you're still kind of in this chaotic bit of your um, relationship I guess situation that this is really good news, okay? So good news is on the way. It looks like you gotta put both feet in, you gotta say yes, you gotta jump all the way in off the high dive. You can't just kind of be expecting like full-time attention when you're putting in part-time behavior, right? A theme that's going on right now for me. Um, so, you know, Leo, good luck. Um, it looks like Lady Luck is on your side for the weekend. Um, hi, Angelique. All right, guys, and we're clearing now for Virgo. Clearing for Virgo. Ah, too many fell out. Can't be all jumpers. Clearing for Virgo. Okay, interesting. So, um, similar to Leo, we have the Lover's card. It is reversed and so is the temperance card. So I feel like maybe you've been holding yourself back from love, from giving and receiving love, uh, from just really filling your cup. It looks like you've just been focused on other areas and maybe you don't feel like you need it. Maybe some of you don't feel like you deserve it. Uh, but for whatever reason, it seems like you have kind of been just holding back or over doing in other areas, you know, over drinking, over eating, over thinking, over working, over spending to kind of avoid this issue of not feeling a true um, connection to the, the source and power of love. And so if that's true for you, Virgo, uh, the Six of Swords reminds me that, you know, we need to look in the direction that we want to go. And so sometimes we think we are, and then when we sit down and it's like, well, are we really, you know, are we, are, are my actions really speaking to what the desires of my heart are wanting? Okay, so an invitation um, for our Virgos. Hi, Ellie. All right, and let's clear now for our Libras. Clearing for Libras, seeing what's in store. For the balancer of scales, the harmonizer of energies, let's clear for Libra. Okay. 
All right, so what comes up is the star reversed, the three of coins reversed, the ten of coins reversed, okay? And so um, i got to redo my deck because almost everything's reversed right now. But we've got, you know, when the star is reversed next to the three of coins reversed, it's almost like, have you lost your creative touch? Have you lost your ability to be creative and come up with a magical third option? Um, you can't really solve a problem from the same mind that is perceiving the problem, right? So this is an invitation, Libra, to zoom out, take a step back. Um, abundance is yours. You know, things aren't so bad that you have to deal with them. But the invitation, again, is to not back yourself into a corner and um, to zoom out a little bit to find a creative solution, right? The magic isn't outside of you. You know that. Uh, abundance is ahead once we get past this little hurdle of perception. Um, so not a bad little Libra reading. Let's clear now for Scorpio. Clearing for Scorpio. <clears throat> All right, clearing for Scorpio. I did a, a private party last night for a group of ladies and we had so much fun. Um, we did tarot, we did mostly tarot and mediumship. We didn't do as much astrology. And um, so if you guys are looking for parties, we have readers in several different states and I would be happy to put you in touch uh, with somebody that can come do like a demonstration or um, a holiday party for you given everybody's health safety precautions, of course. Um, clearing, let's see, I'm getting in the mood for Scorpio here. Clearing for Scorpios. Okay. Oh. The Emperor. Um, seven of Coins. And, okay, oh, okay, sorry, Nine of Swords, it was reversed, and the Queen of Wands. So I uh, will speak to my personal experience as a Scorpio for this reading and see if it resonates for some of you other guys or Scorpio moons or Scorpio risings. Uh, the emperor tends to have to do with our um, job, our boss, our authority, our sense of authority. And for me, you know, I have made some big changes with Wise Skies. You can see we've got a cute new logo. Um, it's now the collective, Wise Skies Collective, instead of advice or just astrology, you're narrowing um, we have kind of this um, intention to be more broad in the age of Aquarius, right? To be more Aquarian. And so for me, like, okay, yes, there's a big focus on career, not only in Wise Skies, but in Spellbound too. Um, funny story, I picked the, the logo for Spellbound is a winged cat, okay? Spellbound is the publishing uh, wing of Wise Skies. And so um, for a long time, it was kind of dormant while Wise Skies was going. But before I started Wise Skies, I wrote 14 cookbooks, I've helped publish over 200 books in different publishing companies, and so I'm passionate about that mind-body-health metaphysical book world, right? So uh, I picked the winged cat, okay, as our new logo for Spellbound and all the new things that are happening over there, uh, the new books that are launching next spring. And I looked it up, right, and I'm like, winged cat, where did that even come from? What does it even mean? Well, turns out um, it's there, there's an emblem for a winged cat in this uh, Russian community that is living in in the city where my immigrant family is from. Okay, very interesting, very quirky. So things uh, alchemical going on for Scorpios at work, and that's my experience. You know, maybe you have a different experience, but this uh, card is about really financial stability. Uh, the card of hope, the card that good things uh, have been planted, and therefore the fruit is on the way. Uh, the Queen of Wands is a card that I relate to a lot. This is somebody who's on the go, who is very resourceful, who is always prepared. I um, joke and say, oh yeah, I got my Tiffany bag. We can do whatever, right? And my Tiffany bag is like my swimsuit, my sweatshirt, my yoga mat, my chacos, my hiking boots, my emergency kit. Um, you know what I mean? Like in a black dress rolled up really nice. <laughs> so anything is possible, right? With the, key, the Queen of Wands and this Emperor card. So shifts positive shifts at work, it looks like it didn't come without some worry and concern and some late nights, and that was true for me. Um, you know, and why it was true for me is because there were some times when I was just trying to manage everything instead of asking spirit to come in and help, okay? And so that's an antidote for in, uh, anxiety as well. So um, let's see. Happy Friday, yes, hi. Hi, Frock, no problem. Aries, I remember there was a star card. 
um, Scott. Um, I'm tropical. I do tropical Placidus system, but I welcome all perspectives. I think we can all learn from each other. Um, that's just what I've been studying for the last 20 years. Let's see. Clearing for after Scorpio Sagittarius. Clearing for Sag and see what our Sag friends need to hear for the weekend ahead. Sag Sun, Sag Moon, Sag Rising. Oh, April, you're a gift too. Okay, for Sag. Everybody visualize the Sagittarius emblem, totem, and let's see what the collective has for Sag. Okay. Ooh, Sag. All right, so you get the Two of Cups, so relationshipy. You know, you're really focused on your significant other right now. It does look like the worst is over for you. Maybe you've gone through a hard time in, with some one of your relationships. It doesn't have to be your significant other. It can be like any relationship. But it looks like the past is behind you there because you have turned into the magician and you have made your mind up to change the course of your relationships. And the world is right behind it. I mean, what's better than that? You know, this is a very hopeful sign for any Sagittarius out there that have been um, concerned or upset. This is a true course correction where you two, you know, can change the world. So what you're doing is a benevolent act, not only for yourself, but for everybody in your world. So a very positive card for Sagittarius. <clears throat> Shannon says that Scorpio was right on for her. Awesome. Aloha Friday to Scott. Let's see. And Sinan, um, you're asking about uh, coming to a new country. Um, we're doing just the general astrology readings, but we would love to work with you one-on-one -on -one if you would like to book a private reading and um, safe travels. <clears throat> All right, we're clearing now for Capricorn. Just everybody visualizing the Capricorn emblem. Let's see what Capricorns need to hear. The Ace of Wands is what fell out. And let's see what else we can get. Death. <laughs> the Four of Wands. The Eight of Wands. Okay. So, it looks like there was something that was kind of long, more long and drawn out that was, like, coming to a closure. And it was almost killing you how long and drawn out this, like, ending was or this change of pace or this next chapter. It's like, e you know, it could be COVID-related. I don't know. But it does seem like there's something that was uh, taking forever that was also pretty painful, okay, that um, is now free to move forward. You know, in our in our private Facebook group, The Inner Circle, we were talking about the Eight of uh, Wands today, about it um, being kind of like smoke signals in terms of information spreads quickly and uh, news travels fast. And that's the same is true for gossip, too. So being careful because there's this, like, wounded card around it, too. So um, just being really careful with your words, uh, being really flexible with the time frame, kind of getting on island time instead of on Capricorn time, and being willing to um, do something new, you know? Um, okay. And so we're clearing now for, after Capricorn, we do Aquarius. We'll clear for Aquarius. So anyone with Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, Aquarius Rising, Aquarius Kids, Aquarius Aquarius boyfriend girlfriend all right clearing for Aquarius and those watching for Aquarius <clears throat> okay so interesting so I think that you're being rewarded for um, something that seems kind of foolish to you so this could be easy money uh, this could be like no way I really you know landed that deal or it could also be that you've been dealing with people that are kind of immature or don't get it and you're like you kind of have the upper hand a little bit both interpretations make sense to me um especially since we've got this knight of Ca uh, cups knight of cards reversed here it does seem like there's somebody that is just not quite grown up in the situation that you're asking about for the weekend um, that they are maybe having some emotional reactions. Just don't let that be you, okay? Let other people have their big human reaction. You, Aquarius, take a pause, redirect, practice deep breaths, you know. Um, we do have the tower here reversed, so it could be that this these uh, uncomfortable sides of the weekend have to do that somebody's world is falling apart. 
So the message here really is to um, be patient, be calm, and remember that you never really know what somebody else is going through, what, why they may be acting kind of dumb or silly to us, maybe uh, because they've been triggered or stimulated in a way that brings up some fear for them. So a uh, message to take on the role of humanitarian. Um, hmm. Okay, so we have a little... Um, Psychic Bomber, if you guys want to report Aoife Kunle here, um, I can't do it while I'm reporting, so I would appreciate it if you guys would report that one for me. And this is why we're going to go and move this reading to the um, private inner circle group. So, clearing now for Pisces. Let's get uh, clear for Pisces. Okay, here we go. Pisces also gets the star. So three, three of us, guys, three of us are getting the star card here. So this is a reminder, right, to step into your power, to shine your own light, to be um, all that you can be, you know? You don't have to be everything for everyone. It's just your own light and your own life that's shining through here. We've got a Knight of Coins, a Six of Coins, a Seven of Wands here with a star card. And to me, it, it, this is kind of a reminder um, that you don't have to do it all by yourself, that you have been very generous and you are worthy of receiving generosity. Um, it looks like money is coming your way. Uh, and again, just this reminder that you don't have to do it by yourself. Um, you know, So ask for support and be willing to share the resources that you have that are helpful to other people. Um, so I, uh, I love you guys. <laughs> And I uh, appreciate you sticking with me. I'm going to um, go ahead and transition now this reading over to our inner circle for next time so that we can avoid these, um, these people that are bombing our session here. So much love and light to you. Uh, we've got a special winter solstice free guided meditation that we're doing in the inner circle, the private group. I welcome you to join that. Uh, if you haven't got the Wise Guys digital calendar yet, the astrology digital calendar, this is the best time of year to get it because you have it for the whole year ahead and you don't have to be an astrologer to use it. So uh, enjoy that resource on our calendar page and um, come visit us at wiseskiescollective.com. So thank you guys. And until we can work together again, uh, happy Yule, happy winter solstice and namaste.